What's up everyone, this is Ryan with UniqueApps.com. I've got some really exciting um, news for you today. I've actually got my hands on the iPhone um, 3.0 firmware. And um, first off, before we get this started, I do want to note that this firmware, the 3.0 firmware, is only available to developers right now. And it is, again, I wrote it up here, this is the beta version of the firmware. Um, there are some bugs in it, in it and... Um, Again, it's not going to be released publicly until the summer. So if you do want to get access to this firmware, you need to be a, de a developer. And if you actually, if you look over in the description of my YouTube video, I've got a link on Unique Apps where I show you exactly how you can apply to be a developer, where you can get your hands on this software, so or the firmware. So um, without further ado, I'm actually just going to jump right into the review. First off, you'll notice that... Um, just a well, first glance, it looks very similar to the old uh, firmware. I mean, nothing nothing really drastically has changed to the main menu or to the home screen or anything like that. Um, but if you could see on this camera right now, I don't know if it'll show up, but um, the phone icon and the messages icon now have little stripes on them. Again, I'm, I'm not sure if it'll show up on this camera or not. I'm trying to get close up enough. And then also this gray bar in the back is a dotted gray bar, a more uh, metallic look, I think, um, to it. And then also you'll notice, again, first off, that the SMS is no longer called SMS. It's called Messages because now you can send um, MS, MMS. You can send um, pictures and contacts and stuff through your through your messages. So it's not just text messaging anymore. So um, uh, that that's, again, just a brief overview, just looking at the, the home screen. Um, now we'll actually I'll just go into this messages icon and you can see um, the differences. First off, most of the new messages or most of the messages now have a landscape mode and this isn't only in typing, this is actually in just the overall view. So if I turn this sideways, it'll actually go to landscape mode. And then also when I'm typing a message, um, you still have this new messages icon up here. But whenever it goes into the new messages, we now have the option of selecting a picture. Now I'm not going to go through all of these features. I'm not actually going to send pictures and stuff just for time's sake for this video. But um, you can type a message just like usual. But you can also um, select a message. So, or you could select a photo. I could take a photo right now. I can choose existing photo. But I'm just going to go into cancel. And then now like I said um, you can also rotate to landscape mode. So the keyboard's a little bit um, easier to type on. So I'm going to go to cancel because, I, again, I'm not going to send the message just for um, time's sake. I'm going to go back to the home screen. Um, and then also, um, I'm just going to show you the landscape modes now that are different. Um, same thing with the notes icon or the notes application. I can now um, switch over to landscape mode as well as in typing too. Um, I can switch over to landscape mode. And then also in our mail, I can now switch over to landscape mode. Um, so I could scroll through my messages. Same thing with typing. Now I can switch over to landscape mode. Another neat thing too is it's also added this search box um, to the uh, to the top of your messages now. And the same thing in which I didn't show you in notes yet. The same thing in the notes. If you scroll all the way up to the top, whenever this loads, um, there's a search box now that you can search all your notes. Um, Let's see, what's new next? Um, the camera is a little bit different now. Um, you'll notice whenever the camera loads, here's the camera showing my desk right now. I can allow it, same thing, it has the uh, location feature. I'm not gonna allow it. But you'll notice a little bit different now, it actually shows your previous image right there. So let's take a picture of uh, the iPhone beta. Let's just take a picture of 3.0 beta. And oh, I also wanted to show you this. Um, you'll see the image icon too rotates in landscape. So whenever I rotate this, the camera icon, did you see the camera icon rotate? So it rotates in landscape too. So I'm going to just snap a picture right here. And this picture now is going to appear right there. So that's my recent um, images. So now I can open my recent images right there. Um, next off we have, let's see what's new, um, the Voice Memo app. The Voice Memo is now a native app to the iPhone. Um, and now you can see uh, once this Voice Memo app, it's actually recording, not recording my voice, but if I stop talking, you see that the voice, this is actually uh, you, uh, doing, I don't know if you would call it decibels or not, but it's actually 
saying that it's picking up some voice. So I'll do I'll do a uh, voice memo real quick, and I'm gonna hit record. Testing, testing. This is Ryan with UniqueApps.com, and then I hit stop. And now it'll give me the option to play that message. So I go into play, and here's the message now. Testing, testing. This is Ryan with UniqueApps.com, and then I hit. Stop. And so that just was my voice memo. My voice memo. I can share this. I can now share this again. It gives you the option MMS. Email. I can email the voice memo of MMS, which is a huge feature for the iPhone um, or a new feature for the iPhone. So I'm, again, I'm not going to go into detail with all these just for time purposes. Um, the next thing is, um, let's see, we have the um, spotlight feature. And again, if you look, okay, I'm going to go into some of my apps. If I click to the home screen, now I can actually scroll right on my iPhone and I can search the iPhone for um, for pretty much everything. This will search everything on your iPhone. It won't actually search in in um, third party apps, but it'll search the names of third party apps. So I'm just gonna type in unique and see what it brings up. Um, most of them, uh, this guy actually works with unique uh, blog design, so that's why it's bringing up him. He's in my contacts. Um, Here's actually, most of them are going to be, again, YouTube messages and stuff that I get. So for Unique Apps, um, which is my YouTube username, I'm actually going to search something a little different. I'm going to search a name. You'll see that it brings up all the contacts that's, that have Josh in it. You also see that it brings up um, a YouTube thing that has, it looks like a username right there. And then also my calendar, call Josh. I've got an interview with Josh. Um, so... And then also, again, like I said, it will bring up certain applications. So Tweety, I typed in Tweet, and that's the Twitter client that I use. So Tweety, um, it won't actually search within these, um, not yet at least, but it will pull up the application on the spotlight. So I'm going to go back. Um, the way that you can go back is you could just hit the home screen, or from this screen you can scroll back uh, right again to go there. Um, let's see, what else do we have on this application? Um trying to think of anything um, pretty much that's the main features oh the stocks app the stocks app added something a little different so let's say um, let's go ahead and click on Apple stock just for for um, um, just because I'm doing a review of Apple the iPhone so um, now that uh, I, I can um, view the stock like this I can actually turn it over to landscape mode and it'll load the stock a little differently so um, you could select one month uh, one week one day just like any others but um, it um it you, it'll also allow you to scroll within the stocks that you're that you're watching there within the landscape mode. So that's that's a big feature again in a lot of the native apps allowing just to go over to landscape mode um, for viewing or for typing and same thing with stocks. Um, again, I think that's probably it. I, I'm looking through really quick. Like I said, this isn't meant to be an in-depth detail or a in-depth review. Just a basic overview of what's kind of new with iPhone 3.0, uh, the firmware. And I, I'm trying to think right now if there's anything else um, that I need to show you guys. And that's probably it. I might do an extra, um, oh, man, I can't believe I almost forgot about this. Uh, copy and paste is huge. So I'm actually going to spend, um, let me go into this note. Well, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll do a, a because I'm, I'm looking at nine minutes right now, so I'll do a, a, a specific video just for copy and paste because I don't want this video to go too long um, but again I'll actually make a reply to this video and I will show you copy and paste because you can copy and paste them um, a lot of different things um, with, with the iPhone which I think it's a really cool feature now and so again I'm gonna make a whole separate video just on copy and pasting on the iPhone um, other than that uh, just a couple notes again this is the beta, a beta version um, there are a few bugs I'll notice that for instance, the YouTube app right now is not even loading on my phone. Um, cannot connect to YouTube. Now, I've heard that if you restore from the old phone, it'll do that. So I need to register this as a new phone, which I haven't done yet. Also, um, it seems to be slower than average with syncing to iTunes now. It takes a lot longer than it did. Um, but um, other than that, I, I'm, I'm fairly pleased. Again, th remember, this is the beta version. This isn't the, the, the full version of this software. So... Um, other than that, I'm pretty pleased. I like the features. And again, go ahead and check out the copy and paste uh, video that I'm going to do a response to this. Other than that, this is Ryan again with UniqueApps.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
of the iPhone 3.0 firmware, and I hope you all have a great day.